Hey everyone, how's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good today. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel, where we explore the secrets of our world and unravel the mysteries of the past and beyond. After hours of intensive research and exploration across various sources, I've uncovered some astonishing revelations that will challenge everything you thought you knew about history. Don't forget to check out the description box for more intriguing topics that you won't want to miss. I may not have top quality video, but I guarantee that the content is worth your time. Some may say I'm revisiting old ideas, but I believe it's important to question the narratives that have been fed to us and explore all possibilities. Stay in the loop with exclusive updates by joining my Telegram channel and make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants together and let's get started. The existence of ancient underground tunnels beneath some of the world's most significant mountain systems has long been a subject of fascination for many archaeologists, historians, and researchers alike. These networks are found around the world, from the Altai, Sion, and Himalayas in Asia to the Urals, Caucasus, and Carpathians in Europe. The scale of these tunnel networks is staggering, with some of them stretching for tens and even hundreds of kilometers underground. These networks of tunnels are not only found under mountains, but also under plains, rivers, and even seas. The fact that these tunnels run for such incredible distances suggests that the people who constructed them possessed an advanced knowledge of underground engineering and construction techniques. One theory is that these tunnels were created by ancient civilizations as a means of transportation or for protection in times of war or natural disasters. It is also believed that they may have been used for religious or spiritual purposes. One of the most well-known tunnel networks is located in the Himalayas, where a complex series of tunnels stretches for over 5,000 kilometers. These tunnels were believed to have been constructed by the ancient Shambhala civilization, and legend has it that they were used as a means of transportation to other parts of the world. In Europe, the Carpathian Tunnel System is a particularly intriguing network of tunnels that stretches for over 10,000 kilometers. It is believed that these tunnels were used by the ancient Dacian people, who lived in the region more than 2,000 years ago. Some researchers believe that these tunnels were used for mining purposes, while others suggest that they were created as a means of protection from invading armies. Despite the existence of these incredible networks of tunnels, there is still much that we do not know about their creators or the purpose behind their construction. The study of these ancient tunnels remains a topic of great interest for researchers, as they continue to seek answers to the mysteries of these incredible feats of engineering and construction. Or they may simply hide the answers. What do you think? Before I continue the video, please give it a like if you've learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any updates. Finally. Watch until the end to avoid any misunderstandings. Thank you. Mexico is a land rich in history and culture, with a vast array of archaeological treasures waiting to be uncovered. From the towering pyramids of the ancient Maya to the intricate artwork of the Aztecs, Mexico's archaeological sites have yielded countless artifacts that continue to intrigue researchers and historians to this day. Among the most fascinating of these artifacts are those that depict what appear to be incomprehensible creatures, elongated eyes, elongated heads, and strange flying machines. One such discovery was made by private researcher Garcia Sanchez while exploring underground tunnels that belong to the Mayans. Sanchez discovered a treasure trove of fantastic artifacts, including daggers, plates, figurines, and pendants, which were not just stylized images of men, but also included detailed depictions of flying saucers. The discovery of these artifacts has led many to speculate about the possibility of extraterrestrial life having visited the ancient civilizations of Mexico. 
While some researchers have suggested that these artifacts may be evidence of ancient astronaut theory, others have pointed out that it is possible that these depictions are simply representations of mythical or spiritual beings. Regardless of their origins, these artifacts continue to fascinate researchers and the general public alike. The intricate details of the flying saucers depicted on these objects suggest that the ancient Mayans had an advanced understanding of technology and engineering, far beyond what mainstream science says. In addition to the discovery of flying saucer artifacts, there have been many other intriguing finds in Mexico's archaeological sites. For example, the ancient Maya civilization had a complex system of writing with hieroglyphs that are still being deciphered by scholars today. The Aztecs, meanwhile, were known for their stunning artwork and architecture, including the famous Pyramid of the Sun. One of the most intriguing aspects of Mexican archaeology is the sheer diversity of cultures and civilizations that have left their mark on the country. From the Olmecs to the Zapotecs, each culture has left behind its own unique artifacts and legacy, providing a rich tapestry of history that continues to be explored and studied. What do you think? Anyway, these are ancient carvings that are often discussed everywhere. Ancient carvings of a helicopter, tank, submarine, and land speeder. They give a lame explanation for this one. They say it is a combination of two carvers at two different times. But the second carver would have known and seen the previous carve. It is unmistakably a helicopter, tank, plane, and a land speeder all in the same area. There isn't a good explanation for this by the mainstream. The chances all four of those coincidentally appear in the exact same spot is impossible. The second carver they describe would have seen the previous grooves when applying his own. Unless someone recently snuck in and carved these without anyone noticing the act nor the freshness of the new carve, then these carvings are exactly what they look like. What do you think? Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it valuable and informative, please show your support by liking and sharing it with your friends and family. Together, we can spread awareness and make a positive impact on the world. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next. Thank you for sticking around until the end. I hope the information shared here was useful and insightful for you. Until next time...